Good morning, everybody. Thanks for supporting the workshop. <laughs> As usual, we'll begin with a, a time where we talk about uh, a tree for, for everybody. Um, and seeing as we've got Geraldine's maple in front of us, garlanded with something. <laughs> Fish line? Yes. It was to keep fleece around it. We should have just. Okay. So can we actually remove that now? Hurried out last night. So have have I seen this tree before? You did. You did a lot on it at the last workshop. You would think I would remember then, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> um. Can't remember where I put the So where was that from? Yeah. yeah, just yes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And you brought along today to do what? To repot. To repot. It was only uh, <coughs> put into that pot early, you know, the root wasn't disturbed. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 In the last year, has it? It, it no. did lovely, yeah. We defoliated it and then um, it, it took a while for them to come back. Yeah. They did lovely and then Ian Funny saying about the last flush, it must have, you know, hung on to them for a while because they came late. But uh, it, was, yeah, it was lovely. Um, so that, must have, that was obviously the June the June session. Um, it must have been. Must have been. Yeah, yeah. So we defoliated it and then I did a significant amount of pruning, yes. simplifying off. Yeah. Yeah. There's obviously some bits that I decided not to, to come back. I'm quite sure why, because that's not grown in a year. But anyway, the main focus today obviously is, is to get the repotting done. Um, this is pure. Kiyodama on the top, is it in pure Kiyodama? No, it's, it's, um, that just, was just to fill it. Just to fill it. Yeah, up. yeah. Right. <coughs> so, the re, the, the pot on that you've just mentioned was done when? That must have been June. We did that? Did we do that? Did we do that in the workshop? I can't yeah, remember. we did. We did, did we? yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if it was June or... And why, why did we do that? Why did it, we it, it needed repotted. I'm struggling to remember. It it did need repotted, but it wasn't the right time. So you really get yes. into the root ball. Yeah. Previous to that, can you remember when it was last? Do you think he's ever had a what we might describe as a proper repot? Not in years. I Not think I was years. totally solid. What right. it would be quite and what was the origin of the tree originally then? Um, do you remember? At local. Uh, yeah, that was through that one come from. Is that through Robert? I think so. Uh, through Robert. But I've been, been, a, a, yeah. I've been a, yeah. a club, some guy, hobbyist that was given, had field grown a lot of trees. Yeah. And so it's definitely not, as far as we can judge, it's definitely not a Japanese no, import. Yeah. So we, we would import. expect. <coughs> perhaps quite a lot of work to be needing to be done on the on the root ball. So this is an absolutely perfect time um, to have a, a really serious good look at the, the root ball. W what we can quite safely do is to pretty much bare root it. Right. Um, then we'll have a look at um, uh, any ways that we think we might be able to improve the Navari first of all. <coughs> Have a look at whether there are roots in here that we can remove to actually improve the Navari. Um, the Navari is not bad on the front of the tree, which is yeah. the most important part here. There's a, one or two bits that, that might we might look at to see whether it's safe to uh, remove them to, if there's something more attractive underneath. Maybe mm. there's a it's quite a big ugly root here that catches your eye even from the front of the tree mm -hmm. and it would be quite nice I think to see whether we can do something with that eliminate part of it maybe even all of it and also the root behind uh, here it's it may become 
more obvious from the front of the tree once this root is, is gone if, if indeed we can we are in a position where it's safe to remove that root so we need to look at those kinds of things when we've done when we've had a really good look at the Navari and uh, made these decisions about what's safe to eliminate and what isn't only then will we look at the rest of the root ball and make judgments about trying to um, to create this kind of root system I was talking about yesterday at the school you know the most efficient root system that we can possibly have which would mean eliminating uh, larger roots from the the underside of the root ball to leave space for fine fibrous roots to grow and the reason that we do it that way around rather than the other way around a the Navari first because if we do it the other way around we remove roots from the underside and then find that we actually would quite like to be in a position to remove roots from the Navari we might have already cut away too many roots mm -hmm. um, because it, it's it's unlikely to be in a, we're unlikely to be in the ideal position of being able to cut away everything we want to cut away in, in one go um, without <coughs> without leaving uh, without perhaps risking the tree more than, more than we would choose to do um, so if we because visually of course the Navarre is so important then we look at here get the roots removed from here that it's safe to do so then we'll have a really good assessment of um, what route, route we've got left which and we can safely look at uh, uh, any further removal so that's what we're going to do and then when we've done that uh, and there certainly will be time we'll we'll have another little bit look at um, uh, a little bit further pruning back because in the in the course of just this one year some <coughs> parts of the tree have, have grown really really strongly um, and they really need to be cut back now. This is a good time to cut back. Mm -hmm. There were one or two bits that, as I say, I'm a bit surprised. Maybe we cut so much out that I decided to leave some bits, um, just to err on the side of being a little bit cautious. Uh, um, you know, for instance, I'm a little bit puzzled as why mm -hmm. I've left that there. Except, of course, there is nothing here. But even if we allow that oh, to grow do you know and what form around. Ah. There was more there, ah. and um, there was a tiny crack in it, ah. uh -huh. and it just it just died off. Ah, and then right. this new shoot came out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, <coughs> yeah, we get it potted up. So um, you've got a pot to put it in. No, I have to get one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Happy result. laughs> yeah. So is that a perfect example?